Hey everybody, it's Christopher Naiman. I saw someone post a question on one of the Facebook sewing groups of how do you sew a button on with a shank on with a sewing machine? So first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna lower your feet dogs, then you're gonna put your button foot on, then you're gonna take a pin and you're gonna take this pin and place it right in the middle of the two holes of your button okay now also be sure you select the button stitch and on mine it's uh, you could see it's number 33 so on my machine it's set at 33 then always test with your hand with your flywheel manually to make sure that it's going to clear so yes it's going to clear those holes so now all you're gonna do is you're gonna hold this pin in place and you're gonna zigzag over and because it's set for that button, hold on, Mac, we stops, but I like to make another one. Okay, and it's tying it off. And then um, I'm going to do the scissor cutter, cut it. And now, when you go and you remove the, the button, it'll have a loose shank. And you can see that right here, where the button is not totally too tight to the fabric. It has a give to it. It's, it's, it's loose. If you want even more, if you want it to be even more loose, use something thicker like maybe a couple pins or even the um, uh, quilting bar from your sewing machine. The bigger the button, the the thick, the, the wider the tool that you're using to go in between will give it a, even a higher shank. So you can see that's very loose. Hope this helps you guys. Thanks. Take care. Talk to you next time.